Today on FPV 101, we're going to be talking about pre-flight checklists, both what you need to do to be allowed to fly and what rules and regulations you should be in accordance with. And then we're going to be joined by U.S. Airman Sergeant Justin, who's going to tell us a little bit about the U.S. Air Force's pre-flight checklist. First, we're going to talk about the checks that are required for flight. FAA regulations require drone pilots to conduct pre-flight checks to ensure that both the equipment being used and the conditions for flight are in an ideal state. Before even stepping outside, you should make sure that you have the proper certification for either recreational or commercial flight and that you have the corresponding documentation on you. Next, know the laws and regulations of the area that you intend to fly in so that you can be in compliance with both airspace and local flight restrictions. Make sure to check the weather. Adverse conditions such as precipitation, high winds, and even freezing temperatures can cause a drone to perform unsafely in the field. It's also worth mentioning that if you're using a GPS guided drone or a drone with automated features such as the DJI Mavic, that you should update the firmware to the latest version to ensure proper functionality. The final thing that you're required to do before heading out to the field is to physically check the drone. A thorough check of all your components will not only ensure that you can actually fly your drone, but will ensure that you can fly your drone safely. It's important that these physical inspections also extend to your batteries, not only to ensure maximum flight times, but to avoid dangerous lipo fires. First, inspect your batteries visually for damage by looking for puffing, swelling, or cracks. You can also inspect them for damage by using a smell test. A damaged battery will emit a sweet odor, even if you can't detect the damage visually. If the battery passes inspection, you should then cell check it to make sure it is fully and properly charged. Now, you can head out to fly. When arriving at your intended flight location, first and foremost, you should scope out the area. Walk your intended flight path to make sure that you can fly securely and look out for any potential hazards that could cause damage to your drone or private property. Also, look out for and issue notice to any persons or pedestrians that may be in the area. If there are any other persons involved in the operation of the drone, such as the spotter, make sure they're informed about the operating conditions, emergency and contingency procedures, and any potential hazards. It's also super important to do a hover test with your drone, especially if it's been a while since you've flown it. And finally, be sure to check your FPV goggles for a solid VTX transmission, because nothing causes a drone pilot to crash out quite like a damaged or unstable video connection. Today on FPV 101, we have the pleasure of speaking with Sergeant Justin of the U.S. Air Force. Sergeant Justin, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Really well, thank you. So today on FPV 101, we're going to be talking about the pre-flight checklist involved with flying in SUAS, just like our drones here at the Drone Racing League. What are some of the pre-flight checklists that you have? Whenever we have to get the plane ready, we have to come out, pop the tires, make sure that they are adequate for takeoff and landing. Once we get that portion done, we make sure that the rest of the airframe is squared away. We come and do a, a walk around and make sure that the landing gear is squared away, propeller is squared away, and uh, all the cowls, all the fasteners are seated properly. The whole pre-flight, I would say, probably takes around 30 minutes just to get a good thorough walk around. My boss, my production superintendent, would come around, do his walk around, and then air crew would come in, we would do a walk around with the pilot and make sure that they're in the square way to do. Honestly, all in all, pre-flight checklists are, are very easy to do and very easy to take care of. Well, thank you so much, Sergeant Justin, for taking the time out to speak with us today. Yeah, no worries. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed doing some of this. And if you have any other questions, go ahead and reach out to me anytime you need me. Join us next time on another episode of the U.S. Air Force FPV 101.